Hi, I'm Mr. Blockhead. Today I'm going to endeavor to give an overview of Applied Energistics 2. Applied Energistics 2 is a Minecraft mod for both Fabric and Forge that you'll find in a lot of mod packs. It primarily deals with storage, auto crafting, auto processing, and spatial storage. Here's a very simple storage setup. I have put several items into these chests, and also I have some items in this thing called an ME drive. This thing here is a little terminal that I can look at to see all of the items both in the chests and in the drives that I have. Over here, I have a fairly basic auto crafting setup. What I can do with this is I can auto craft individual items, spruce planks, I can auto craft spruce slabs, but even crazier, I can auto craft a barrel even if I don't have planks and slabs. Let me show you. Because I have spruce logs, I can click craft on these barrels and what it will do is it will actually craft up the uh, slabs and the planks and then craft the barrels. Watch it go. Over here, these things are called molecular assemblers that are actually doing the crafting. You can see we have slabs, barrels, and now it's all done. So now I have 10 spruce barrels, even though I never actually had any planks or slabs. Here's another auto crafting setup that you can do with Applied Energistics 2. This stuff is all from a different mod called the Create mod. If you're not familiar with that, that's what that is. But basically what this thing is doing is it's going to go ahead and take raw iron, smelt it, turn it into iron ingots, and then turn it into these things called iron plates. Well, I can actually automate that process using Applied Energistics 2. That's what this light blue cable is. And I can take things and input them into the process and then export them back into my storage. So all I have to do to actually start the crafting is come to my uh, terminal here click on uh, crafting and I can craft these iron plates and use 10 of them and go ahead and start that job. And you can see right here that I start to get raw iron coming into my smelter deal here. It will go here and then it will get smashed into iron plates. I'm having a little bit of an issue with my smasher. There it goes. And as you can see, it's doing that. And as this thing is working, it will then go ahead and put those iron plates back into my inventory. You can see them coming in right here. And it's all completely automated through Applied Energistics 2. Something else that's really crazy that you can do with Applied Energistics 2 is store spatial things. So basically what I have here is I have a little tiny house. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this house onto a drive. So in this little box right here, I have a spatial storage cell and I'm going to go ahead and click this redstone lever and you will see the house appears to have disappeared. However, what actually happened is it was transferred into uh, this spatial storage drive right here. So that house is actually stored on the spatial storage drive. Then what I can do is put it back in here, turn it on and the house reappears. What could you use this for? I have no idea, but it's very cool. There's a lot more you can do with Applied Energistics 2, and I'm going to be releasing some tutorials on how to do those things. But for now, this has been Mr. Blockhead. I hope you've had an amazing, awesome, beautiful day, and God bless.